Every day I get comments from different people saying that my videos have made them want to get pet rats. And while that makes me super freaking happy, I also realize that I only really talk about the positive side of owning pet rats. These little potatoes are so misunderstood and have such a bad reputation already that I've been avoiding talking about the negative side of owning rats. But it's important to know what you're getting yourself into when you get a new type of pet. So today we're going to talk less about the pros and more about some of the cons that come with owning pet rats. Before we get into it, I do want to mention that if I see anything about snakes, mouse traps, or the black plague in my comments section, I will steal your kneecaps. I've heard these jokes about a thousand times already and they're not funny or creative, Karen. We do not tolerate stupidity in this household. <clears throat> Anyways, here's some of the cons that come with owning pet rats. First things first, rat teeth score an impressive 5.5 on the Moore scale of hardness. You know what else scores a 5.5 on that scale? A steel knife blade. While domesticated rats are very gentle and highly unlikely to bite humans, they will destroy and chew on everything you love if you let them. Rat teeth never stop growing, so they have to chew on things frequently to file them down. If you don't train them not to chew on certain things, your house will end up looking like a pack of rabid raccoons just had a sleepover in your living room. So just make sure you're willing to put in the time and effort to train your rats out of bad behaviors. Also, rats are some of the most clingy bitches you'll ever come across. They're not a rodent that you can just keep locked up in a cage at all times. They need constant exercise and enrichment, and they develop strong bonds with their owners just like dogs do. So if you want a pet that you can just sit and look at, rats are not for you. Rats are also way too smart for their own good. They are masters of deception and deceit. They can escape any playpen, find the best hiding spots, and honestly might even be able to teleport if you ask me. There have been many times when I've looked away from my rats for half a second only to look back and see them in a place that shouldn't even be physically possible for them to get to. Be honest, it's kind of scary. And lastly, I always make the joke that my rats owe me money, but it's really not a joke at all. Pet rats will always owe you money. They live relatively short lifespans and are prone to many different illnesses and cancers, so the vet bills can add up very quickly. If you're not in the position to pay $1,000 to get a tumor removed from your beautiful chaos potato, rats might not be the pet for you. Okay, all the negative stuff aside, I do think that rats are amazing pets and the pros outweigh the cons significantly, but they're not for everyone and that's okay. Do lots of research and really question if rats are the right pet for you. If they're not, it's okay, because you can always watch cute videos online and live vicariously through my little mischief. And thank you to you guys for letting me share my serotonin potatoes with you. It makes me happy to know that my girls are making other people happy too. Thanks for watching and ratty kisses to you all.